I have rented quite a few apartments in DC and I just signed a lease agreement to rent a new apartment. These are some things that I particularly look for in a lease agreement. One is the unit rent controlled. Many buildings that are older in DC and there are a lot of older buildings built before 1975 I believe are rent controlled. If your unit is rent controlled that means that the landlord or leasing agency cannot raise your rent more than 10% once the lease agreement is up. My apartment right now is not, which is a bummer. What is the actual base price of my unit? A lot of times people will get concessions on their rent. For example, if you see a lot of specials for apartments where they say one month free, what they mean by that usually is that you get the value of a month free split up across your lease period. If you pay $1,200 a month and you have a year long lease, if you get a month free, they will split up that $1,200 and your rent will be lowered by $100 per month. Other reasons you might get concessions. When I was in college, my roommates and I got a concession because there was construction ongoing in the unit and the building we were living in. The base price will be what the rent increase comes off of. Personally, and you can do whatever works for you. I tell myself that I can't afford the apartment if I can't afford the base rent as is. I don't want the end of my lease period to come and I'm forced to move because the base price was already too high for me and then they increased upon that. What happens when the lease terms are up? There are often very specific things you need to do when your lease is up. Even if you wanna move out, oftentimes you have to give 60 days notice. A lot of times there will be special things that kick in once the lease is over if you want to renew. I've been in apartments where after the end of my year-long lease, lease automatically kicks into month to month. Sometimes you're required to sign an entirely new lease or you have to extend your lease. So you really just have to be careful on what happens when your original lease terms are over. Who's responsible for what? in your apartment. That extends to utilities. I've had some rentals where all of my utilities were covered in my rent, some where only certain utilities were, like water or gas. When you're touring units, they'll tell you, oh, this is covered, this is covered. Make sure that is translated into your lease terms. When it came time for us to sign this lease here, I was kind of confused about pest control, damages the outside of the property. I just asked the rental agency to clarify so I would have in writing who's responsible. Finally, if you're somebody who enjoys DIYing or decorating your space, what is allowed and what isn't? I've had random ones where you can't hang anything from the ceiling, but you can hang anything from the wall to ones where you can't actually hang anything in the walls with nails or screws. The lease agreement is is a binding contract that can work for you or against you if you are doing things against your lease agreement and if your landlord is going against the lease agreement themselves. DC does have really good tenant rights, so make sure you know your rights.